Okay, YouTube, I'm going to do one final response for the night here. Channel comments here on the Shimmy Cash channel. Oh, good Lord, I didn't realize I didn't have the microphone in my hand. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, channel comments on my channel. I'm doing some last minute responses because I don't feel like typing back and this is just more fun. And I'm in the hallway here in my hall of pictures or whatever. So yeah. All right. Channel comments. Uh, guy says five days ago. What was his name? Burde. Dude, you're wise. Keep making long videos. Also, talk about the industry and avoiding STDs, please. That's a very random comment. You say that I'm wise, you want me to keep making long videos and talk about the industry and avoiding STDs, please. I assume you mean the porn industry, the adult video industry or whatever. You know, that stuff or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Um, I've never got a STD from porn industry, if that's what your question is or whatever. So, what is there to talk about? I don't know. And generally, I think I'm a pretty healthy person. You know, I exercise, take my vitamins, got a pretty good immune system. I don't know, man. What do you want me to do? If, for those of you who don't know, um, for guys, girls, whatever, who do video or whatever, at least in the States, uh, yeah, we get tested by this place. You can look it up online. Uh, usually our tests are good for 30 days, a window of 30 days, and every 30 days you have to retest while you're actively shooting. Um, a lot of times, uh, movies, I shoot them in a batch, meaning I might hire two, three, four, five whatever number of girls for a weekend or whatever and uh, everyone will be tested or whatever and I'll just shoot all my content in a batch just like I'm doing these YouTube videos in a batch which is why I'm wearing the same clothes right now because I've just done like six or seven videos back to back you know it's like when just just for the ref future reference if anybody ever asks me this shit again okay when i film models and even when i film myself i don't just sit down and make one video or one movie i make like two or three or more okay the most i've done in one day is like six movies in a day it's possible i'm efficient i know what i'm doing and sometimes i have a really good competent crew with me and i work with very competent professional models in this amateurs too but you know girls that got some fucking sense in their head or whatever you know if people know what they're doing and they've done this before and whatever and i'm a pretty much easy going motherfucker to get shit done efficiently and doesn't waste time jacking off and shit then it's like i can be pretty efficient and very uh very productive and whatever and have time to still travel run work out work in a restaurant do whatever the fuck i gotta do or whatever so professional people make a big difference or whatever yes um okay i hope that answers your question next question i have time for a few more here uh commenting on video another one why native americans are asians part two they're they're replying to that video people like that video or they don't like it guys writing named loop doc three weeks ago iq scores asians europeans hispanics i have to click the read more Native Americans and Africans. I guess this guy's like hierarchying intelligence or IQs or whatever. IQ scores don't mean anything to me. It depends on what part of the world that you're uh, from, I suppose. You know, just me personally, I've done a show about this if you look at my archives. I have a 117 IQ. Okay, for those of you who don't know how to check out what your IQ is, Google it. It's usually your high school SAT score divided by a quotient, your math and reading score, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just so you can look my own up, fuck it. My number was 1030, and uh, what was it? Uh, something like 530 math, five. 530 English or reading and 500 in math or some shit like that taken in the year 1996 Okay, so you could go and look at what year you took your SAT GRE or whatever they call your placement test and those are actually IQ tests where you can get your score Based on what year you took it and your score you got on the SATs or whatever. Okay Average human intelligence is supposedly around 100. Okay 100 points again I'm 117 just for other reference, if you have an IQ below 85, uh, just so you know, the U.S. military, they will reject you. You need to be at least level 85 or they consider you to be like 
a liability, basically more trouble than you're worth, more or less. So that's the range of human intelligence, uh, at least whatever. So if you had to compare me to other people, I'm s with IQ scores, as you say, I'm slightly smarter than the average motherfucker. Uh, for other reference, you might want to notice that uh, Jews, Jewish people, their average IQ is 140. Very fascinating. You should I Google shit like this all the time, right? So anyway, that that trumps your theory about Asians have the highest IQ. They don't. You excluded Jews. But anyway, okay, I get your point. You're saying the Asians are smart, smarter than Europeans by your logic. Hispanics are beneath Europeans. Well, Hispanics are Europeans, actually. Yeah, they're white folks. Just they speak Spanish. It's true. Factual. Look at shit up. Native Americans, they're also Asians. You got this shit mixed up. They're not. They're the same people. I'll elaborate on this more. Africans, you put at the bottom of the hierarchy. I'm an African. My father is from Africa. He was born in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, right? I'm a half-breed African, half-black, half-African-American, whatever, right? An African no less. Both of my parents have African origins, and supposedly, according to this guy, my IQ score should be at the bottom of the pile. The Asians are on top with the Europeans. Is this factual? I don't know. Maybe if I were Asian or white, I'd run the world. Maybe I'd be the, at least the mayor of this city or something to that effect, right? Or maybe my black skin holds me down? I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't be having to do a YouTube channel where I blog about my, uh, my adult video site while I sell rice bowls and shit. You know, it's, it's a crazy world we live in, you know what I'm saying? IQ scores. <laughs> What's let me, okay? Hold on. If I'm at the bottom of the motherfucking IQ pile, how come I got all this channel? I got all these so called quote unquote hoes, houses, cars, this, that, and I travel and do this and that and I talk about it, but my IQ score is apparently at the bottom of the fucking pile. I must just be a stupid motherfucker. So let me see what you look like. I wish I could just rotate this camera around and see how you other people are living who criticize me. If I'm so goddamn stupid or if Africans are so fucking stupid, let me see what you doing. Let me see your works. Put your shit on the table, man. Let me see. Now, you see, I'm not white. I don't have a 401k and bitcoins and all sorts of other social problems that they have. I'm from a different world. I'm from the monkey realm, okay? I worry about shit I can control. Bananas, plants, pussy, girls, porn. I'm pretty basic. Running. A primitive African with a low IQ. That's why I do these goddamn movies. Black people are athletes and entertainers by default. Don't you know?